Welcome back to my channel. Hi everybody, this is kind of weird. I'm actually set up in my room on a dinner tray because I'm lazy. Um, I've got to do some cleaning today. And that means I need to do some planning. And that means <laughs> that I need to share with you my new setup. <sighs> because it's changed quite a bit, as you can see. Um, but it is, it is an exciting one, so hopefully my battery will hold out. I'm still using my A6 for my scheduling for swimming and notes um, and on the go. This is this week's layout. Um, I haven't, I've been keeping up with it for the most part. Today's Friday. I just didn't do last night. I usually do them play in here morning and night, but I was so tired last night. I didn't really do anything but veg out. But, yeah, I, I'll do a flip of this at a later time. It's really not much. Um, but I do like how I set up my weekly in here. And then I literally have just been writing. But my scheduling is in the back of this guy. And it's super important that I have it on me at all times. So I was also thinking of going ahead and putting the full uh, t rest of the year monthlies and 2023 in here as well. Because I'm finding that that could be useful and this is a great size um yes this is astrology um i've just gone back to bound book for now i tend to do that in the summer we'll see what happens it's been easier to maintain um well not necessarily make easier to maintain because it does take effort to like draw your stuff out but um it's definitely been easier to carry around um than a personal rings because rings get so heavy and i get kind of like anxious with rings at times because of just not being able to have all the stuff that I've worked on like in view anyway um so what I've done I did purchase a coach um a coach uh notebook cover um and it does come with a spiral notebook but I'm not using that um I do have a what's in my bag video um that I haven't posted yet it's a coach backpack that I've been using my daughter and I got matching ones it's a whole nother thing so this will be in that video but um I just really need felt like doing this right now so it's been a while since I've posted a video um so yeah this is like an a5 size not all a5 planners will fit in here rings definitely will not I've seen people use discs uh like disc bound planners in here um, I've seen people use those thick bullet journals. It does fit quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I chose to use Astology, of course. Um, I was torn between, you know, the Astology and the, um, um, what you would call it, the Hobonichi. But I know myself and love the freedom of Astology. And I also got a half year just to see, just in case the full year wouldn't fit, but it fits perfectly in here. And the half year also fits. So when school starts up, this will probably end up being my like school notebook um, and it'll fit perfectly and close inside of here. And well, maybe not. Mm -mm -mm. It will totally will. Oh, OK, well, that changes things. OK, well, it does. It's a little tight. But um, before I started using this and putting the stickers in and the cover classic cover it fits fine but let's get into it I do really like this cover it's classy it's easy to use the outsides that the this is their signature canvas and then this leather in the inside um, I did purchase a plastic Midori cover for this because I like to protect my notebook and let's be honest I like to have something cute in the front and I found this image this cute coach image um this if this is like a leather strap and then the brown and i fell in love printed it out the white coach actually came from the notebook that they give to you they have like an acetate cover or plastic cover so i just cut it down and put it on the front and i must say doesn't it look super good like so classy i can't tell if you guys are seeing it well enough like I'm sure there's a glare but um so that's the front like I said very classy at the top I do have some 
um, tabs and some on the side but keep in mind it's gonna get thicker and bigger as times so my cat stole my favorite post-it notes I can't find them anywhere and y'all know how cloth paper is expensive I'm like so furious with them but I can't stay mad because they're my cats but I need to find them and hopefully I will find them but they tend to like <laughs> have a way to hide things where you can never find them okay so inside I've got some tabs cloth and paper some stickers this life and lilies rescheduled canceled stickers um some cloth paper dot stickers some just regular avery brown dot stickers and some colored little boxes for my calendar uh what's she's like my favorite sticker shop for functional planner kate and then this was the other half of the image um that i printed out uh, what comes next is kind of my, f <laughs> this card fits so perfectly for where I'm at in my life right now. Um, it's just living day to day and then just taking on what comes on next. Um, and just, it says you can still have peace without knowing what comes next. You can still have, I mean, that's, that's true. You can have peace without knowing what comes next. And that's something that I'm trying to focus on. Uh, this little the front this is my has my name this looks just like my my cat cloud which y'all know i have a lot of cats but cloud is my very first cat that belongs to me specifically as a matter of fact he's laying right there and this is just an ode to him because um he's getting older and i know that my attention gets taken by the younger ones sometimes and i just wanted to like give him a moment so I just collaged with some stickers and it's really cute and fun so um I plan I decided to draw everything out versus like printing out and pasting so I have more room plus I personally enjoy doing that now if I get exhausted like get bored or in need of like <laughs> quick fixes then I'll like print stuff out but um, this is the rest of 2022 and if I have something going on that I need to plan ahead I'll do a post-it like this and then this is my 2023 future planning so I just drew some boxes um, in the back of this I did make some page measurements like plan so I counted and you know so it'll be easier when I make my spread so I don't have to like go through and count them all and everything I can literally just kind of play around and see what I can do because not all my spreads are going to be the same um these post-its here represent birthdays uh so this is my monthly calendar it's a one page um for like planning and I use a series of stickers and just pen yes I drew it out um, the ruler has become my best friend. I used to just kind of go, but I actually do enjoy a neat looking planner. So, you know, um, I decided to do a gratitude for the month and then the notes is like any kind of keys I may need for here and then goals that I set for myself. So I have, I do gratitude. Um, sorry, I write gratitude a couple of times a day because there's so much for example, it's in the form of like morning gratitude, um, kind of sets an intention for the day. And then my evening is more of like what a positive of the day, I guess you could say. Um, I decided to do a monthly tracking. So this is sleeping, mood, morning, evening, and then pain levels. And then I put my key here and a log. So whatever pain I may have, I'll put here. Um, just so I know exactly what's spiking it um, there's a purpose for this and also another reason why I'm using a notebook is so I can have things set up the way I want them and then also just I don't know there's something glorious about a notebook I can't explain it um, I love the pages and like the crinkly and I love the a5 size it's just with an a5 ring binder I mean it's super heavy um so I'm enjoying this for sure so this is this week I decided to do like a week on two page put an image here where I can put post-it notes so I just put like a pretty paper and then I'll put whatever post-it notes I need right here for the week um 
whatever routine I'm going for. So it's tracking things like if I go to bed early, if I drink alcohol, sodas, prayer, study, that kind of stuff. And it, it'll change weekly if it needs to be. Things I want to accomplish personally and things I need to do for the house. And then on this side here, I've got the weather like and temperature. So for next week, I'm actually going to plan out, um, do a pre- uh, pre-log of the temperature and then log at exactly what the temp is for me it plays a part in my body and how it reacts like my joints and like mood and everything kind of reacts to my environment around me and that's something I'm learning so I do t play a part with like or I do pay attention to like whether it's a full moon or if um the weather is weird or you know it's just important to me so um some stickers I also love using notebooks because I feel more um, comfortable using stickers because I know I can look back on them. When I use uh, ring planners and with the inserts, I tend to just throw the inserts away. I'm like, oh, there's no point in them. And really, you know, it is what it is. But um, so I will use a series of like little icons that I draw out and then, you know, just little stickers here and there just to make it look cute. Um, I had a spiritual breakthrough on Thursday. These are my dailies. I decided to do daily two per page. Um, I decided to make my own like spiral decks, I guess you could say, um, or clock. I don't know what you call it. I do have a stamp for it, but I decided to draw it out myself. So I actually have a, uh, my husband gave me a, comp, like a, what's it called? this guy so I actually sit here and I like draw them out and everything I take the time to do it because a I like it B I enjoy I like uh, blocking my time and this is a great way for me to see how I'm spending my time and where I need to spend more what I need to what I need to tweak. So as you see, Thursday ended up being a really good looking day. I have more control on what I'm putting down. I'm starting to um, log like um, sunsets, sunrise, sunrise, sunset. I'm starting to like come into the pages now um, or into my dailies. I started first, not sure how I was going to use it. And then I found how I was going to use it. And you can see how beautiful it turned out. And I do put log breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I put notes um positive of the day a gratitude um things that need to get done just anything I want to write down for the day goes goes on there and if I run out of room I do have note pages um so that's I'm really enjoying this this uses the page fully and there's still white space and I just I really love seeing my writing um so here's today so we're gonna plan today and I will go ahead and say that I have the rest of this month planned out for the weeks. As you can see, I need to go ahead and forward plan some. I need to plan out weeks in advance sometimes. So this is how I'm going to do next week. Very minimal. Like I'm going to draw my little icons and tie in, you know, colors that I pull from like little pictures and stuff. Um, so next week's my daughter's birthday. And then I'll leave the dailies blank for now. Um, I'm still going to do two days per page but how I want to do them may change so I just leave that alone um, this is my June July running to-do list um, this will be moved like to the front with uh, when I create August it will probably move it will move with them you know with the monthly areas um, this will be at the end it's July's best it's things that I want to highlight I guess it's like monthly highlight um, and then here's 18th through the 24th. It's the same layout. I really do like this layout. And if I want to change my layout for the next month, I will. But I do like this layout. And then July 25th through the 31st, so the last week of June. I can't believe how quick things have gone. And then I have, of course, the dailies. And then notes for July start. So instead of doing like notes after each week like I used to, I've decided to go ahead, plan out the whole month, and then have the notes on. So these are just, these are notes on strongholds, um, which was my spiritual breakthrough. And this is something I tabbed because I need to read over this and just listen to it again because 
it really it put me to tears in a good way um, but that's all I have so far there but in the back I do have like I said some other things I have um, plant my planner routine morning evening weekly monthly I have that planned out daily writings that I want to do daily like it's gonna build I'm gonna work backwards in the back for like lists and things like that um, routines lists, anything like that uh, even considered putting notes in the back and just having planning of the front and just kind of meet in the middle, you know, but we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and plan for today. All right. So today I'm home, which is nice. My daughter is still asleep. It's like 2 p.m. I think she didn't go to bed until like 10 in the morning, which is insane. Breakfast, not any because I slept through it. Um, lunch, I had ramen because we really don't have anything to eat right now. I need to cook. Um, thankfully my daughter loves it. I did sleep really well. I have trouble sleeping. I don't know if you guys know that. As much as I swim, you would think I would sleep through the night. No, nay, nay. I wake up, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. It's awful. But I had a really long good night's sleep last night and I'm very happy for that. So I feel refreshed. Had lunch and now I'm doing a planning video. So one of the things I wanted to do was, a, as I said, plan and video and usually I'm not at this angle I write kind of like this so I think I'm gonna do that I know that it's not as appealing for the video but you guys really I want my planner to look okay um, yeah so let's go through I did yeah film a video on planner so I moved that to today and then some other stuff I actually ended up doing that so go back, contact next week, yep, go back, did that, okay, I'm actually on point, all right, and then I need to schedule you times for next week, and I've actually already done this, but I like to write these things down as a log because it, it just kind of helps me and it helps me feel better being able to check. It helps me see that I've done more than I thought because I have a tendency to feel under accomplished in the day. Like I want to be productive and I'm more productive than I think. Um, okay, so I do need to do laundry for sure. <laughs> Vacuum. I dreamed about cleaning my house and it was amazing so vacuum clean bathroom and I also need to put um, the clothes that I need that I'm donating need to go in the car I may need to wait until after next week because but I need stuff out of my house I gotta get all this stuff out it's holding up it's causing like my energy flow in the house kind of to block like almost like blocking energy blocking I guess in a way I need to get it out so we can have that extra space for like good energy to flow through um I'm not trying to do so much that I'm miserable but I do want to I really need to find stick with one planner for recipes because I have recipes all over the place. I tend to like using my standard size for it, but I just kind of put it in whatever notebook I'm in. I think I need to stop doing that and actually find a notebook to stick with. So maybe I'll use my A6 for that. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> who knows? Who cares? Okay. So look up recipes for dinner. I don't know why I'm writing like that. It's kind of weird. Different moods calls for different writings. It's... I look like I multiple people with my writing because it's just how my mood is, I guess. Okay, so there's that. I do need to wash my sheets. And I really need to do some self-care today because your girl's hair, feet, everything, I'm just like in pain from the pool and my hair. I actually dyed it and it's the dyes coming out because of the pool and it's looking orangey versus the red so I don't like that very much so I need to 
wash my hair, do some things with that. So I did want to show you when it comes to the end of the week, I do have a review slash next week. So I went ahead and put what, when I decided to do the weather log, it was on like Thursday. So I put the rest of the week on there and then just a reminder, only call on the Lord, that kind of thing. Cause I was starting to dabble in some other things that I probably, that I shouldn't be dabbling in. And then um, next week, AKs, make sure to wrap her birthday gifts. Spiritual focus is to live positively for next week. Do not dwell on unpleasant memories or my wrongs. Just keep, just keep going on my path and walk, keep walking with the spirit and be bold. So that's that. That's my planning. Literally, that's my planning. That's about it. I don't overdo it during the summer because if I do, it'll get overwhelming. But um, I have makeup lessons on Friday. Um, I need to go ahead and see. I'd, I need to go ahead and put this week down here. I just don't know how I'm going to do my dailies. But we're just going to go ahead and. Mm, let's give myself a little room. Go here. All right. So this week, next week. Yeah, I'm really enjoying my uh, Crayola Colors of the World markers. They're so good. Okay. Alright, so I need to log the... Oh, I can't do it. I'm filming. So I'll log the temperature, weather, that kind of thing. Stuff that's coming and then... Next week. So when I actually decide to do next month, I'll try and film me setting up the monthly... This month, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do because as much as I love the A6, I really fell in love with this coach cover and wanted to make it work. So if you want something to make work, you got to try it. You got to try it. You can't just like, you know, say, okay, it'll just work on its own. No, you actually have to try and make it work. So it wasn't hard because this is astrology. There's a lot of room. Um... So it's really easy for me to use July running to do. So it's things like the donation bags. Like I put that on my list today. So I pick this kind of stuff to put into my dailies. Um, as long as it, does, it gets done. And it do, I do have a key for this. Um, the Q stands for a quick fix. Like I just need to put it in the car. And I take my tasks uh detail by detail so i don't say okay take donations to where they go right i say okay put the donations pack the donations that's one task i'll do that one day or something put the donations in the car you know that that kind of thing breaking it down into smaller details really helps me stay on track and it helps me see how like that i'm being more productive than i feel um, and that kind of stuff may come easy to some people, but for me, it, it's, it's, can be challenging for me to like, and it's not just me. I know there's others out there, just the way my brain works and it's just, it makes it better for me, more enjoyable for me to do these things and to actually get them done is a big accomplishment in itself. So yeah so that's it that's all i wanted to share there's nothing much else to say um because i haven't been in this this long but i am super happy with it and it's a lot of fun it's just you know planning supposed to be fun um as well as productive i think and um i'm not a decorative planner but and definitely a functional planner but i like to mix the two and to me this is pretty I, i'll just sit here and look at that all day it's nice so when this fills out, it'll look even better too. Definitely will say this. I like the warmer tones than the cooler tones. It used to be the opposite for me. I used to love cool tones versus warm tones. But now I'm all about some warm tones the older I've gotten. So I'm excited to see how this looks when I'm completed. 
and yeah i will when i set up next week's dailies i'll let you know thanks so much for joining me and until next time bye